Hey everybody, it's Roy from ANS Gear, and we're going to look at another mask today. This is the Empire Helix mask. So this is kind of a, uh, a basic version of their higher end, like the E-Flex, the E-Vent. Uh, uses the same lens, but um, doesn't come with the like the dual pane thermal one from the beginning. It just comes with the single pane uh, clear. But uh, it's a nice big, big lens. So if you've never tried on one of those masks, you, you probably aren't realizing how big the lenses in them are. They're massive, so it's really nice to see. You get a huge field of view, distortion-free lenses. They're really, really nice. So it really lets you see a lot when you're on the field. And if you've been wearing like a small mask, you probably don't realize how much of the field you're not seeing. But with a lens like this, it really opens your eyes, <laughs> literally, to, uh, to the size of the field and what you can see out there. So the mask itself is uh, it's good on coverage. Um, it's cut pretty average on the, the chin side. Good, uh, well, I should say on the cheek side, the chin, uh, pretty average on the front. The one thing with these masks that could be better, I guess, if you want to call it that, is the venting on them. A lot of masks will have venting up through the side here. Just makes it easier to breathe. The venting on these is really only through the front right here. So when you're breathing, um, kind of want to I don't want to say concentrate on breathing straight out through your mouth, but through the edge here, you're not going to get as much ventilation as some other masks you might get out there. But if you're in the market for this type of mask, it's probably not the first thing you're thinking about. Um, really, you're looking at comfort, coverage, protection, and maybe the lenses that you're going to get. Um, so this covers all those bases. Um, good ear protection, always got to have solid ear protection. Single strap on the back, and it does have the silicone beading on there, so it keeps it from sliding up and down the back of your head. Foam is average foam for uh, comfort, but it's nice and thick inside there. So um, what you may lack in the actual feel of the foam itself, you get back in the amount of foam you're getting. So it still fits and, and sits nicely on your face without being scratchy or uncomfortable. Um, it does come with the chin strap with a nice large chin pad, so it's comfortable under there. I'll tell you guys, always wear your chin strap. Safety first. Um, what you guys do when you're on the field is up to you. Uh, now. The strapping for these setups, or the switch out for the lens for these setups, can be a little tricky if you're not uh, used to doing it. So if you pick up a mask like this and you're out at the field and you've bought yourself a new lens and you've never taken the mask apart or anything like that, you might have a tough time doing it first time right away. Uh, so I would recommend just sitting at home and trying it one or two times and you'll understand how it works and then you can do it really, really quick. So there's actually a couple pieces to this mask inside here. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is the visor. The visor does come off if you don't want to wear a visor on there, so you can pop it off. So inside here, I'm going to use my little pick here as a pointer. There is a tab right here, and they are marked with sides, so this one has an R on it. And there's a little flip tab on this R that says lift. So I'm going to lift this thing out, and it actually is just a little kind of triangular piece that looks like this, and it locks this swivel from moving, so it can't rotate up and down. Now, without this piece in there, this uh, the edge of the or the end of the um, the strap can actually rotate. If it was to rotate up while you were playing or something like that, the lens would pop right out the front, possibly. So um, you definitely don't ever want to use this mask without these tabs in there. Uh, so, but to get your mask, your lens in and out, you do need to remove them. So we'll move the tabs out. And they are marked, so you can't get them wrong. Once the tab comes out, we can take our goggle strap and we can uh, rotate it. So we're going to rotate it up like that. You can see that I kind of took it and I spun it. I'm going to get my hands out of the way so you can see this. Up like that. Once this lines up with the, um, with the earpiece that sticks through, you can pop it out. So let me push this up here. Pop it out, and you can see the earpiece right there. It goes through, and then this piece right here, I'll turn it like this, locks in, and then rotates whoop, like that so that it can't pop out. And then this little tab piece locks in at the top here to make this thing not able to rotate. You take that out, you can rotate it, you can pop it out, and then you can get your mask out or your lens out. So do the same thing for this side. Rotate. Pop that out. Like that. And then we can just take our lens 
and pop it right out. There we go. We take our new lens, put it right back in the same way we took it out, put our tabs back in, and we're done. So let me do that real quick. I'm actually going to take this off. Show you how easy that comes off of there. That way it's a little easier to work with the lens when this uh, visor isn't sitting in the way. So we're going to take the nose piece. We always want to start with the nose. Really with any lens you ever change, start with the nose. It'll make it easier. And we're going to drop it down into that little slot. There we go. Whoops. Thought I had it. Guess I didn't. There we go. See how it kind of goes right inside there. So that's all lined up. Now we're going to make sure we get our right pieces. This one has an L on it. This one has an R. Now it has an R. That has an L. We're going to take the L. We're going to put it in through here. We're going to rotate our piece up first. Snap it on. Rotate it back. And then lock that in. Take our R, push it through, rotate first, like that, or yeah, rotate first, then rotate it back, lock it in place with the tab, and there we go. So lens change, once you've done it once or twice, is really, really simple. You just got to make sure that you don't lose those little clips because running the mask without those locking clips could be a, uh, a dangerous thing to do. So don't do that. Uh, but it locks everything in place, keeps it secure, and keeps you safe. So if you're looking for a mask that doesn't break the bank, easy switch out lenses, check this out. This is the Empire Helix. Uh, it's available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.